Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to take a look at using the RAD Data Filter. RAD Data Filter is designed to empower your users to create complex filters against their data. You can see this best when we combine RAD Data Filter with the RAD Grid View, which we will do in our example. Let's start in Visual Studio, create a new Telerik Silverlight example and call it RAD Data Filter getting started. Once we have that, we're going to say that this is a Silverlight 5 application and bring up the Telerik wizard. Within the Telerik wizard, we will check off data and that will load data and its dependent references. And we are ready to add a RAD data filter to our XAML. Coming into the grid, we'll create a Telerik RAD data filter object and let's give it a name so that we can address it programmatically if we need to. We need data for our RAD data filter. Let's go over to the project and add a new class. And we'll call that class employee. Once we have the employee class, we can drop in a few properties for that class. So we have public properties for name, company name, and title. Let's also add a constructor for the class that will allow us to pass in values that will populate the public properties. Let's create a static method called getEmployees that will return an observable collection of employee. We will use this as a substitute for obtaining our data, standing in for calling a web service or other source of data. And so what we want to do inside this little method is to create the observable collection and populate it with a number of employee objects. Let's save that and return to mainpage.xaml. Go to the code behind. And here we're going to set the source property for our data filter as the static method we just created that will return an observable collection of employee objects. In order to be able to play with that, we're going to return to mainpage.xaml and create a couple rows. The first row will size to the height of whatever we put into row one, which will be our data filter. The second row will take up all of the remaining room, and that's where we're going to put our grid view. We already have the data filter in place. We want to add a rad grid view, but we have not added the right references for that. Easily fixed by going up to the Telerik menu, rad controls for Silverlight, and configure project. Let's come down and find grid view and add that and its dependent references. And now we can go back and take advantage of IntelliSense and add a rad grid view to the page. We'll name that X grid view and we need to set its item source. Where is it going to get the items for the grid view? And here we're going to bind to the filtered source property of another element and in this case the element we're going to bind to is x data filter that is the rad data filter we just created in addition we're going to tell rad grid view not to generate columns automatically we will do that explicitly and because we're going to do our filtering in rad data filter we're going to set is filtering allowed to false let's place our rad grid view into row one of the grid and then within the grid view definition, we are ready to add grid view columns. The columns that we want to add are those that we said not to generate automatically. And so we're going to generate them now manually by saying that we want to add a grid view data column. Set the data member binding to bind to the name property. And then we can copy that line, make two more lines just like it, and change the properties that we're binding to, to company name and to title. I just need to go back and clean up my observable collection to return the observable collection and get employees. And now we're able to run the application. And what we see is a grid view and on top is our data filter we can add a new filter such as title is equal to owner and as soon as we click the button only those who have a title of owner 
are displayed. You can see how easy this is to use for filtering, very enabling for your customer, and they can further filter by saying name starts with A or any other criteria that they choose to use to filter down their data. The filters can be removed and you can create new filters for looking at new combinations of the data based on the properties that are in the data and the filtering criteria, making it very, very easy to work with this data. I hope you've seen how easy it is to add the RAD data filter and give your end user a very powerful ability to filter data in a RAD grid view using a very friendly user interface. For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. Thank you very much, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon.